around January 2nd, 2008, um, I had been, it was right after New Year's and I had going up and I fell down the stairs, hit my head, received a concussion, was home on medical leave for a few weeks. While I was home on medical leave, shortly thereafter, I fell down the stairs again. This time I fell down going down the stairs um, and ended up falling and hitting my tailbone. It began to get really uncomfortable around November. And that was the first time I saw a doctor about it. There were a ton of things that I couldn't do. Um, sitting comfortably, um, standing, um, laying down oftentimes, um, really everything, walking. Um, you know, and I don't mean extensive walking, I mean just walking to the kitchen. Little things like that became so difficult um, from that excruciating pain. I mean, it made, and it, it just made even laying down uncomfortable. I've been diagnosed with spinal stenosis, and I was told that with spinal stenosis, if it's just degenerative, you know, it doesn't really make sense to do surgery because it's just going to keep degenerating. But if you've had a traumatic accident, surgery is often a good option. When I came in to see Dr. Lou, I could see the concern on his face. It, it, the, em the empathy that he felt for me was just, it, it, was, it was so obvious, it was so, you know, he cares. It really is the first thing that I think hits you when you see him. The first procedure we did, and that actually um, relieved the pain on the left side. The only problem was that shortly thereafter, um, the pain began developing on the right side. Um, and it was, it was extremely difficult with having the right side um, with that pain because I also have a condition that affects my right leg. Um, and I couldn't afford to have this pain on top of it. I have multiple sclerosis. Um, and one of my symptoms of my MS is I have a drop foot. It's a little bit hard for me to lift my leg up, lift my foot up when I walk. So combining that with this excruciating pain was just, it was, it was really intolerable. And at that point he suggested we do um, the spinal fusion surgery. Every day I'm getting stronger and better. The pain in my legs, the nerve pain, the sciatic pain, the, it was gone. It was gone by the time the surgery was over. Um, this was pain I'd been dealing with since January 2008. You know, and here it was July 2011, and in the space of one day, it was gone. I really felt, you know, there was a point in um, earlier this year when I really felt like my life was over, you know. I'm only 36, and uh, I felt like I was going to have to be resigned to a wheelchair. It was like, just this feeling of being a burden on people, you know? And now it's like, I feel like I'm actually gonna be able to live again. You know, I'm gonna be able to drive my car again and, you know, go places and go to the grocery store, and shop for my own groceries and, you know, take a shower when I want to take a shower. Even from the first time I went to see him, Without any change in my pain, I felt better because emotionally and mentally I felt better. He is the most caring doctor um, that I've ever been to.